Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to add blur to your photos in Lightroom. Now, before we get started, I did wanna say that this is not the best way to add blur to your photos. The best way, obviously, is getting it right in camera um, by adjusting several things, and I will link a resource for you below to help you understand how to get more blur to your photos in your camera. However, if you wanna learn a simple way to do this in Lightroom, I'm gonna show you how. Even though this is not the best way, I am gonna straight up say that Lightroom is not the best way to man heavy manipulate photos. Um, there are better programs for that, like Photoshop, but if you wanna add a little bit of blur, it's totally doable, it's very easy, and let's get to it. All right, so there's two ways you can do this. You can use a, a brush or you can use a radial filter. Now, I really recommend the filter just because you get more um, it's just it runs smoother you don't have to worry about missing certain areas in your photo yada yada okay so say I want to make this background even more blurred than it is and this was shot with a 50 millimeter lens at f2 um, he was pretty far away from the background but um, it's not as blurry as maybe I would want it to be so I could go in and I can manually add more blur to this background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the radial filter and I'm gonna make sure that all of my sliders are set to zero. And that's why that one was set to a negative saturation. So you wanna make sure that you clear all of your sliders and then select a new filter. And this is great because you can adjust how much or how little that you wanna apply. Okay, so I really want to blur this background, but I want to keep the focus on him. So I don't want any of him to be blurred. I just want it to kind of feather out and become blurred in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to clarity and I'm just going to decrease the clarity. Now when I'm doing that, it basically blurs everything back here. And you can see when I add add the mask overlay, you can see where this is being applied. Now there is being a little bit of application on the hair, so I can come down here and I can adjust my feathering. And I can also move my anchor point, my, move my filter around. That way all of the blur is not going on him, it was going on the background. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And it's really not a huge difference, but when you click done, I will show you. Do, do, do. You can see how this was a little bit more blurred, especially here in the twigs. Things that were blurred before or weren't blurred before are blurred now. Okay, so this is obviously my before image, before any kind of editing, and this is my after. Now you can add multiple stacks to this. So let's just say I wanna do that again and add even more blur. Well, an easy way to do this is just to click on your anchor point, right click and duplicate. So this is going to add it all over again. And you can see how the background is getting creamier and creamier, um, but with this, there is one drawback. Do you see the light in the background where it's hitting the pavement? It's starting to look very muddled, very flat, and it's just not really good for light. So depending on your light situation, this is not really a great option. But I'm gonna duplicate this again just to show you um, how you can keep stacking it and stacking it and how it's going to keep getting more blurred. So you can do this over and over again. You can move your anchor points to kind of um, offset some of the feathering. But like I said before, this isn't the greatest way to do this, um, to add a ton of blur, delete. I didn't wanna keep duplicating that. Um, but if you just wanna add a little bit or if you want to blur something in the background that's kind of distracting, you can certainly do this. It obviously has its drawbacks, and with that is the light being kind of crushed, and um, it just does not look very good to me. Okay, <laughs> so that's my um, my very technical uh, description there. So another way you can do this is by grabbing a brush and um, doing the same thing. 
reducing the clarity and then going over where you want this to go okay so it could be anywhere um, and you can see where I applied that you can apply as many stacks as you want yada yada um, another way you can do this I did say there was two but I was lying um, actually I'm not gonna do that um, you can use a graduated filter just like a radial filter but it goes from side to side up and down all around um, wherever you want to apply these you can do it that way so you can create different kind of um, blurring options okay so like I said before this is not the best way especially depending on your lighting and your background but it's a nice little simple way if you want to add a little bit more blur to your photos so if you like this tutorial if you thought it was helpful make sure that you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for even more Lightroom tutorials to stay up to date and make sure you check out the resources I've linked for you below. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I hope to see you next time.